Happy October 2019. We are down to the last 90 days of 2019. It's very exciting. I'm going to do a shout out to my brother Elijah Stover. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday. Hope it's a great one. Hope it's an amazing year. So the energy of the month it definitely feels like there's going to be really super highs and there's going to be really super lows. Um, so it's really important to stay grounded this month. I probably say this all the time, but get out in nature. That's one of the best ways to just ground yourself. Meditation is going to be very helpful as well. So let's look at where everyone's, this is the general reading for October. So where your energy is best spent for the collective consciousness over the next 30 days is, um, you know, having patience and faith. So you can see the card here. Like she's ascending, things are happening, but it really is about having the patience and don't force it. Just allow it to happen as it's supposed to happen. And I'm really hearing, it's like divine timing is at play. So it's like continuing to have the patience, continuing to have faith, and not forcing anything. If you find yourself forcing something, then that means you're coming from ego and you're not coming from spirit. When you're coming from spirit, it's so effortless. So if it's, it takes a lot of effort, then you're coming from ego. And if it takes like practically no effort at all, then it's from spirit. So you'll find that like when you're aligned, then it's effortless. It's just, all right, let's keep cruising. If uh, you'll find things happen really fast when you're in alignment with spirit. If you find you're in alignment with your ego, um, which ego is more than just, oh, like having a big head. The ego is sort of our human self, which does serve a purpose. But for in regards to getting things done, it's much easier to come from spirit. So that's what this is happen what this is, the focus is on, you know, do the steps, have patience, have faith, and things will figure themselves out. It'll be pretty effortless once it does get there. Um, let's look at the life purpose. And life purpose is always changing. We add, we subtract. And so let's look at life purpose for the collective consciousness over the next month of October. And it is about, so it's the card that comes forward is talk to your angels. And again, this is the divine timing, the divine purpose. It really is about connecting to your spirit team. If you don't know how to connect to your spirit team, reach out to me. I can send out some a few pointers. Um, if you want me to connect to your spirit team, you can book a reading, book a healing, and we can really dive into what your spirit team is coming forward, even if it's just confirmation. Sometimes we just need that confirmation. Um, from somebody else to go right that's I'm on the right track so your purpose for the, for the month of October is to talk to your spirit team is to really you know one give your worrying over to them let them handle again it's like the divine purpose divine timing L you know let some let your spirit team handle the worries and um, really coming into that divine guidance, so being quiet. Again, it's like meditation is very important for the month of October. So let's look at work for the month of October for the collective consciousness. So general work. Again, it's like super staying grounded. Yeah, it's like um, when you're grounded, when you're in spirit, when you're communicating with your team, you're going to find you have so many conversations through work, through how you show up in the world that make your heart go so fast. Like it's very exciting. Um, and if you can connect your significant other for the work that you do, so if the two of you can work on something together, then this is the start of something really beautiful. It's going to really help your relationship and it'll also um, just make you feel closer to each other but then also how you show up in the world together. So that's actually something I am hearing that it's really important to connect with your significant other in the work that you do. 
Um, so bring them in if you don't already have them being involved or just deepen that relationship. But if you are listening to Vine Timing, if you are listening to your guidance, if you're being patient, if you have faith, you'll find that the conversations at work, it's just like, yes, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. So let's look at health of the month of October for the collective consciousness. Good night's sleep. So again, it's going to be one of those crazy months where the energy is like you have high, high highs and low, low lows. So that means being grounded, meditation are going to be helpful. But the best thing you can do for your health is a good night's sleep like every night, like go to bed earlier than you normally do. Um, and just be so good. If you need to take naps, take a nap. If you're tired, sleep. So don't overdo it this month. This is not a month to overdo it. Although you may find you really want to move forward, move forward, but listen to your body when it's tired, sleep. And at, like every night this month, October, get a good night's sleep. Like go do that. Like, that is so important right now. So let's look at romance over the next month of October for the collective consciousness. Yeah. Finances and career. So you're going to find yourself being stressed out with your finances or your career or both. Um, it's not a bad thing. We're just learning lessons right now in regards to our finances and our career and the harmony in our, in our lives. So there, but that's playing a factor in your love life right now. So maybe you're not moving forward with a relationship because you feel like your finances are going to be affected. Or maybe you're staying in a relationship because you feel like your finances or your career is going to be affected. You're being divinely guided right now, and if you feel it's like, wow, the best thing for me is to leave, or the best thing for me is to be with this person, listen to that. Regardless of the finances, of the career, be with that person that you know really makes you feel like you have that higher energy, that you have that you're in that love. There's a reason for everything. There's a reason you're being guided. Uh, so listen to that. Especially if it's a message that keeps coming up over and over and over again. You will not be able to move forward if you're stuck in that same message that keeps coming up. Um, so it's, it is about having faith. And that plays a part too with our finances and our career. It's having that faith and allowing the divine timing and divine guidance. So your, your love life is being affected right now by career. You may find you're extremely busy with your career and you do not have time for your significant other. The thing is, it is about making the time with your significant other, even if it's just a couple times throughout the month, but really making a point to make that effort. Um, and when it comes to finances, if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just broke, I have like no money right now, or I'm not sure of my financial situation, so I don't want to go on a date or I don't want to do this. Suggest some fun dates that don't cost money. There's a lot of things you can do that don't cost money. So that's for romance. And let's look at numerology. I love my numerology deck. All right, so let's go October for the collective consciousness. Let's see here. Environment, number 44. So... This is a double, 44 is that angel number, but this is green, environment. A lot more people are becoming very aware of their in physical environment, like your home, your body. They're becoming much aware during this month, but then also the environment, like your, the outside world, the, the collective world, the, you know, nature, what we're doing to it. So this is definitely the month to really, you know, connect with that guidance, like what's the best thing I can do? And, you know, I'll give you some examples of some zero waste. So I, I personally am moving towards zero waste. And so I have, I take a water bottle with me that I can refill anywhere. I um, use shampoo and conditioner that is bar form, 
so that's no plastic whatsoever and then I have switched over a lot of my makeup and beauty products and self-care products towards absolutely no plastic or very little plastic so and actually everything is I'm moving everything over towards zero waste so those can be just some of the ways whether you refuse to you know use uh, plastic items can be a really great way uh, to help the environment and that's one of the big parts is you know maybe not buying new clothes going to a thrift store that is next on my list I haven't really purchased new clothes in a long time but I'm like ooh, there's a couple of things that I do want and so I'm gonna go look in thrift stores and consignment shops and see if there's some gems I can find in there for some fun things which I have always loved thrift stores and consignment shops so but this is just another beautiful way to continue because we're looking at one of the largest factors in our environment is actually textiles so we throw away so much clothes and manufacturing that clothes takes a lot of energy so I know for there are some people who say oh eating meat is one of the you know as a factor there's research out there that really claims that that is not actually a factor and it actually helps the environment so but textiles is a huge part plastic so just refusing uh, to purchase new things or um, just ref even just having a water bottle refuse the plastic so and now color card yay I love color card okay so let's go to color for the month of October Calm your mind, body, and soul, emerald. I love that. So again, we're getting a lot of green. A lot of green is coming forward, that energy of that love. Um, that's your heart chakra coming through. So really listening to your heart, because that is the divine guidance. That is um, going to help you with your faith. That's going to help you with your patience. Um, so really getting in. So wear green, be around green, see as much green as possible. It's beautiful. I love it. So yeah. I hope you have an incredible month of October. If you would like a personal reading with me where we tune into your energy, your own personal energy for the month of October, connect with your spirit team, which is so much fun, the messages that come through, um, the confirmations that come through, and then also the guidance to help you stay focused. And so this is that energy is is it is beautiful for the month of October it will have some highs and some lows um, but it's, it'll be an overall wonderful month so reach out if you want a personal reading or healing that allows you to break apart any blocks that you have from reaching the life that you want um, yeah beautiful until next time peace love and hugs bye for now